Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. It is High Society Radio. It's Thursday. We are live on GasDigitalNetwork.com. I'm your host, Chris from Brooklyn. And I'm the person that will host the show with Chris in the next few months, probably. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Chris Stanley is uh, getting gastric bypass surgery. He's fat! Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Luckily, we have some uh, 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 guests in the building. Uh, Rob Cruz, Drew Montana from the Durag and the Deer Tag podcast. Now I have a quick beef with you guys. Naeem is not here. Lemaire has blown off this show multiple times. What is with black guys from Philly and blowing off podcasts? I mean, we were saying earlier, they're just the problem overall in that city right it, now. It but... seems like it. Yeah, that, that's yeah. the main thing over hold, there. Hold man. on, I'm going to fill in front of Naeem right here. You ready? Bro, this John? Okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. I bro, this John gay, bro. <laughs> Yo, gay, bro. This John right here? That's gay, bro. Naeem, right, you guys are good. <laughs> if you uh, if you tell Naeem he's gay or try and do like some science behind him doing some gay shit, he gets so defensive it's unbelievable. Hold on, you need to back that up. What do you mean science behind some gay shit? Like, uh, not really science, but like if you, I'm trying to think of an example. What's some gay shit he's done lately? And we were like, that's gay, and he's like, no, 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 no. Well, I I mean I feel like in his heart he is gay. Yeah, in his heart he's a very sensitive man. He's a father, which is inherently gay. That's true. Have, having, having children, children is the yeah. gayest thing Wait, you can marry a woman is gay. Have I told you what happened when Naeem drove me to Philly? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, we yeah. had to go pick up his baby mama and the kid, his youngest. And I had been in the car with him the whole day. We were having, we had a blast. It was like the funnest car ride. We go pick up his baby mama and the baby. And his kid, I guess, wasn't feeling good. So she was in pajamas. And she had on watermelon pajamas. And I'm trying to be nice because I'm meeting a child and I don't want to be a jerk. Yeah, you yeah. want to say something incredibly racist to a child. And, and I'm meeting the baby mama and stuff. So, you know, I want to be respectful, Zach. And I'm like, oh my God, honey, you're so cute. Look at your pajamas. <laughs> and he sees the moment where yeah. I connect it. We do the half an hour ride to their house, drop him off. He gets back in the car and goes... Yeah, I just yelled at her. And I'm like, why? He's like, of all days to put my... Ba-. He was, I didn't know she had those pajamas. <laughs> i never seen those pajamas before. Of all the days, you're going to put our baby in watermelon pajamas. <laughs> you got racist ass Zach Amico in the... He goes, I'm never going to live down my baby in watermelon pajamas in front of fucking fat racist Zach Amico. This is fucked up, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, like me going to sleep in weather pajamas. You can't do it. <laughs> and then as we're driving to the baby mama house, there's we're on Market Street, and there's just three black kids on a roof doing TikTok dances. Two of them dancing, and then what I can only describe as an actual baby sitting on the roof with its legs dangling. And the uh, and Naeem's baby mama goes, I'm going to call the police. And Naeem's like, they ain't our kids. And she's like, no, I'm calling. So she calls the police, gives a full report. You know, there's a baby on the roof. I need you to know. <laughs> and then she calls her friend to give the black lady phone call. Right. Girl, <laughs> I just had to call motherfucking police. I saw a motherfucking baby on the roof. Dude. And he just watches me lose. He's watching me because my whole set at uh, Helium was that phone call. Yeah. He's watching me take notes <laughs> so that I could turn it into a 15-minute bit. Also, probably just shaking, like, Cartman, oh, I'm li- yeah. Cartman around juice. Yeah, like, I'm like yeah. a tea kettle. I'm about, I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, like when Cartman meets uh, the fucking Kyle's Coast cousin. Jewish cousin. <laughs> yeah. And he, and he looks at me and goes, I know this is what you're talking about on stage tonight. I was like, dude, I will do nothing but <laughs> you did a, this ride. A I, full 15, I, I think. I did a full yeah. 15 on riding with Naeem. <laughs> on watermelon pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> on riding with Naeem. The, the blackest car ride in history. Girl, I just saw a baby on the roof. Girl, I just <laughs> seen a baby on the motherfucking roof. Yeah, Not, incredible doesn't stuff. explain which roof. Nope. Where. No, she no, she called the police and gave like cross streets. Okay, and then they called back. Okay, and were there, and she was giving details, and they found babies on the roof. 
Multiple babies? It was two like six year olds and a baby. It was like a um so there was they climbed and a slingshot. Out, they climbed out a window, but it had like an extended roof. And they were sitting on the roof doing TikTok dances. Okay. That seems safe. Yeah, they're, safe. they're starting a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're entrepreneurs. Absolutely. I used to love hanging out on the roof. Yeah. Roof is fucking dope when you're six years old. Yeah, but yeah. you don't sit with your legs dangling. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> can't have my babies dangling off the roof. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, you can't have a dangling baby. You can't have dangling babies. No, that unless is. by the way, that does sound like that does sound like a racist. Yeah. thing. you've heard of elf on a shelf, yeah, spoof on the roof. Yeah, dangling babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Naeem's life is a cartoon. But we we were talking yeah, about from the nineteen twenties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, we we were talking about him just like wearing like like blue collar shit. Oh yeah, like at at, at the fights on Monday. But he has, he's an accountant. So he's wearing like Catholic job clothes, and then he does a Jewish job, which is crazy. The, his life is nuts. Does he? The, he, he dresses has like angel that wings act- on his throat, and he calls everything gay. Like you, you have no idea where this guy lands. To be, to be fair, that's what I want a CPA to do for me. Just have angel wing tattooed on and throat. call everything gay. Yeah, these write offs is gay is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some gay true. ass write offs right here. You need better write offs. CPA is colored person associate. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear an acronym, I just look at Zach. I'm like, I'm waiting. <laughs> it re- I am a hack. Yeah. I really love it. I really love a good acronym joke. You say you fought. A, you I call them Zachronyms. <laughs> nice. That's a portmanteau, though. Yeah, I'm, it's a portly manteau. <laughs> uh, I'm drunk. Yeah. Yeah, we've been drinking. Yeah. Uh, Yo. Did me you too. Uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. Uh, you say you fought a crackhead. Almost I crack- almost fought a crackhead this morning. I want a verbal altercation. I think I with a crackhead. Um, I don't know if he's on crack, but he's on. You are something. now supporting his basketball team, though. No, dude, fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy for life. We're still in an active beef. So, uh, <laughs> dude, my car, my car is fucked up, okay. and uh, this used to, it happens like once a month where my my alarm will just go off randomly when like no one touches my car. Just every half hour, the alarm goes off. Mm-hmm. And it happened last night at like 1.30 in the morning. And usually all I have to do is start the car and then it'll stop. But it was cold and I was like, I'm in my boxers. I'm not doing that. So then I went downstairs to get my key so I could just like hit the lock button and make it stop. And uh, as that was happening, someone was like banging on my door. So I thought it was like the cops and I was high. So I just went back to bed <laughs> and I was like, the alarm will be fine. But it, it just kept going off all night. And then uh, I went out to my car this morning, and there was a note, and it said, we have the note in my car, so I think I'm going to get it framed. It said, uh, what it was like, the next time your alarm goes off 20 times in a night, I'm going to put a brick through your fucking windshield. And I was like, that's fair. You know what I mean? It's it's pretty fair. Yeah, an alarm going off all night. I'm not mad at that. But I went, and I got a, uh, it's just a fuse I found out. You just have to, like, replace a fuse. Okay. So I got that this morning, and I was replacing it. And the guy came up to me, and he's like, yo, is this your car? And I was like, yeah. He's like, you see the note I left on your windshield? And that's what pissed me off, that he, like, doubled back to make sure I fucking could read. And I was like, yeah, I saw the note. And then he was... You you, you don't want to be accused of being illiterate by a crackhead. No, dude, I know I could read better than that guy. He's yeah, like, yeah, do you yeah. see the note? I was like, yeah, my bad. Like, I'm uh, fixing it now. He's like, man, I was about to put a fucking brick through your windshield. I was like... Are you retarded? Because if you put a brick through the windshield, the alarm's going to continue to go off. Yeah. And also, I, I was like, and I know what you look like now. So if you put a brick through my windshield, I'm going to put it through your fucking head. And he, uh, he's like, motherfucker, you don't know who I am. I was like, you don't know who I am. We strangers to each other. But he lives on Which your block. Which is a sick point. Yeah. But we don't like, I don't know his name. He don't know my name. Okay. But I, dude, hit him, hit him somebody with a, you don't know me either. We strangers. I was like fucking yeah, Blake Griffin. Pretty, that, I'm is, done. that is a pretty good yeah. win to a verbal exchange. Yeah, dude. I'm nice with the uh with like verbalizing people that I know I can beat in an argument. Like I hit a, a, a Hasidic <laughs> Jew with an argument one time. If you beat a Hasidic Jew in an argument, dude, that's, that's, pretty that's actually pretty nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this guy was It was lo- Naeem's boss. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was lost and he was uh he was on an airplane and you could tell he was like with his wife and his 10 kids and there was way too much going on. Oh, and he just tried to sit way f- closer to the front of the plane than he was supposed to no he was uh we were mid-flight and the kids were like running back and forth in the aisle like playing tag 
and uh, it was an overnight flight. Everybody was trying to sleep. They're all little Hasid kids? All little fucking curly-haired fucks. Braids, have, they all have whooping cough. It's weird that they can even <laughs> run up and down fucking. <laughs> but uh, I could tell this dad was just, like, overwhelmed. And at one point, I stood up, and I was like, get your fucking kid and park him in that seat before I park you in that seat. And everyone's like, oh. But yeah, I, you're hitting him with the old uh, black dad stuff. Dude, I'm, like, eight mile in arguments. It's unbelievable. <laughs> But I don't want, like, I wouldn't have put a brick through that crackhead's face, or I wouldn't have fought that Hasid, but I said I did. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That was enough. Okay. Yeah. We need to be honest right now. All four of us. Hasid's horrible on planes. The worst. Oh, they're, no, they are. I mean, they're as bad on planes as they are on trains or automobiles. Automobiles or just in a store. Dude. In a house. Hasid with a mouse. on a plane. <laughs> the, the way, the entitlement they have. And the way, like, because they all run on the plane, they take any seat they can find, and then the second you're like, that's my seat. Oh, they, they don't pretend like seats. They don't speak English. Yeah. Dude, I had one that was made me, so there was a hot seat trick in my seat, and I'm like, hey, you're in my seat, and she tried to do, like, dickle, 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 I don't speak English. <laughs> and, I, and I called the flight, and I'm like, hey, this girl's in my seat, and she immediately just starts sobbing, and she goes, I need to sit with my mother. <laughs> And I went, get out of my seat. And then they realized it was a family that didn't buy seats together yeah. that all tried to sit together. So then I just had to awkward because then the dad yeah, came over. They all bought middle seats. Yes. And then the dad came over and pretended like he had to speak for the family to like confront me. To be fair, that is what they do. All buy middle seats? Yeah. Yeah, and then, all, yeah they do do that, A. And then. B, the father, is, the father is supposed to... He speaks I, for all of them. When I was working, like, doing paid petitioning when I was, like, 18, you ring the bell, and you'd be like, hey, can you sign this petition for this thing? And the woman would be like, my husband does the decisions and closes the door. Yeah. So the dad comes over, but then the dad had to sit with me because he had bought the seat next to me. Mm -hmm. And I will never... It was the worst flight experience of my life because, of course, he had, like, fucking eight bags with like for his, like, magic hat and shit. And at the end of the flight, hat. he jumps up to grab all his bags, bends over to grab his magic hat from under the seat, and his asshole hit my shoulder, and I felt the warmth of his of the asshole. Hole. Now, if uh, only the on Palestinians me. could feel that level of warmth, you know what I mean? <laughs> then maybe we could. I have this. never been so disgusted on a plane as feeling a fat man's warm asshole through fucking suit pants. A Hasidic hole. It had to be cooking the whole flight too. Yeah, they, I mean, they love to cook. Yeah, they yeah. marinate. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they, they do, dude. They're simmering. They keep a yamaka on their butthole too. Yeah. You know and what they, is funny though is like the slightly less silly hat Jews, the yamaka Jews, yes. hate the Hasids like, like, with a passion. Yeah, because they uh, have logic. Yeah. Well, they also are like, they're like, if, are you they, Jewish? No, I just I'm oh, okay. from fucking Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Like, yeah. 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 Like, so I, I no, compare I it to this. From here. Yeah. So the way the uh, Yarmulke Jews hate the Hasids, yeah, it's the same way I hate fat people that are unapologetically fat in public. So like once I was on a bus and I watched a man eat a hamburger that he had put on his belly like an otter. To be fair, it was Lewis at a fat stage, <laughs> and uh, he put it on his tummy, and then would lift it up and eat it. But he was also like making noises, like mm, great hamburger. <laughs> and then pointing at fast food places as the bus passed it. Yeah. And I was like, dude. Yeah. Another great hamburger. <laughs> Another great hamburger. And all I Maybe was thinking, we should go to Sonic. I haven't been to Sonic in a while. <laughs> and all I was thinking was like, dude, you're making, a, you're making us all look bad here. Yeah. Like when fat people are too fat in public, it really embarrasses me. So that's all I can think is what. It's probably, I'm sure black people and every race has the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, have a, I, I have a fat dad. Mm. And uh, I. I I slowly started to appreciate. You said that with so much shame. No, like, no, it's I, sick. I it is sick. He, the, he's living. Uh, I'm, I'm going to transition into this. Okay. Where he, he has a favorite chair. I like the idea of having. Oh, a that's favorite just dudes. Chair. Yeah, yeah. But do, when, when you're obese and have a favorite chair, it, it's next level. I feel like I can only imagine. This, this is simply my fantasy. Okay. If you look, I have a sectional couch in my house. Yeah. If you looked at my couch for a second, you would know where I sit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell where my ass groove is. That's it's, my slump. It's between the first and second seat on the left, and you know exactly where I sit. The second, no one can be on the couch, and you can point at it and go, "That's Zach's ass groove." Yeah, this is this is where the meteor fell. Yes. 
There's no dinosaurs anywhere near us. Yeah. yeah. There's, There's a, no cushion left. Th- this is the crater. I'm sitting on springs. <laughs> yeah, dude. That sounds like a sick grunge song. <laughs> I'm sitting on springs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Chris Cornell sang that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he, he, uh, he, he, he just retired. And now he's just fucking living it up. He's he, just fattening he, up. The fat, the, actually, he started losing some weight, which kind of pissed me off. What do you mean? The, he, he's losing his jolliness a little bit. Oh, because he's getting less fat. Is, is your yeah. mom making him get less fat? Uh, I, I think he just has time now. So, so he's, like, like, dude, he's like moving around more. Yeah. And probably eating less like shit because he doesn't wake up, like eat a bacon, egg and cheese on the way to work, eat some shit for lunch, and then come home and eat dinner. Exactly. He, he was like working himself into a grave, basically. Okay. What's your dad? What did he do? He was a chemist. But he fat uh, chemist, fat chemist, and he a uh, nutty professor himself. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it, it it really helps because if the beakers explode. You have a little bit of cushion on the belly. But he would uh, he, he had like a two hour commute, and he he don't want to deal with like driving up through Delaware into Jersey. So he would just go into work at like three in the morning, and then put all of his hours in, and then come back. So he had like the craziest schedule. He would just eat fast food and then go to sleep. For probably twenty years. Yeah, yeah, that sounds. That's a recipe for getting fat. Yeah, that sounds terrible. And uh, it, it's sick seeing him just go into his relaxed stage. He got a neon sign that's just two curves with dots in it, and it says boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the most retired white guy purchase I've ever heard. It's either that or a pool table. Yeah, but... yeah. <laughs> well, that's and, and... The, that's the you get that, so you go, man, this is gonna look really cool over when my the friends pool come table. Over to play pool. <laughs> That's step one. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable, and, and it's sick too because my mom gets disgusted. The the first time I brought my girlfriend over, she's like, "I'm sorry, this is disgusting." Dude, I have had a gross. I have like a Coors boots. Light like sign from a bodega on the wall in my apartment that I just like had in my old apartment. I hung up when I moved in. My and my girl moved in. She's like, "You know, I fucking hate that thing." And I go, "I don't care. Take it down." Yeah, yeah this is me. I took down the Spark sign I had. Really, I had an old school Spark sign. Hang Sparks was the uh, original, the precursor to Four Loko. Precursor to Four It tasted like Pez. Oh, I, yeah. yeah, I remember that, actually. Yeah. It looked I, like a I battery a, can. Yeah, I had a big Sparks sign that yeah. the Amico's that had to go. Yeah. I also have Damn, a sign that says uh, Deep Spring Whiskey, and it, uh, it it has a Confederate general on it, uh, and it says the whiskey without an unkind thought, and I think it's just the funniest thing I've ever purchased <laughs> for $4. Dude, my dad has a, you know what, I think it's called Pickin' It's like oh, the, really? the old school like blackface shit. Yeah, yeah. He has a salt. That's what they used to call like little black kids. Yeah. yeah. My dad has a, a salt and pepper shaker combination of those. So really? and, it's an yeah. antique. You should bring that to Antiques Roadshow. Dude, that's what I told him. I was like, you should probably get rid of this and sell it because my friends are looking at it crazy when they come over. So <laughs> my. Yeah. I got to explain it to all Dude. my boys every time. I'm like, yeah, we just shake salt with these. So my, my sister in law. These little black kids. My sister in law and her husband. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Dude. They're both pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my dad has yeah. these. I have to explain both this to pepper. my girlfriends. Every time I bring a girl home and she like goes to shake the pepper, I'm like, we should probably get a new set of these. My, Why don't you just buy a set of them and put them in a the house? I have before, and he ha- he puts those. He collects them actually. So, uh, or like his parents used to collect them. Salt and pepper shake. Yeah, or so, just racist black things. No, no, salt and pepper <laughs> shake. I mean both, honestly, yeah. but mostly salt and pepper shakers. But okay. they have a bunch of different ones. They have like a. We actually keep mustard in a noose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to use a squeeze bottle. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. My my sister in law and her husband are like super like kitschy goth weirdos, but her husband's NYPD. And my mother in law for Christmas a few years ago. Is it Sergeant Wait, they have, man? They have goth cops. He's he's an undercover goth. Damn. He used to be goth, but he still is. I never even thought about that. But he he he, he is he, that where he like... hides the he hides the hair under the hat. Yeah, yeah. And they uh, my mother in law thought they were because they like all like kitschy like vintage shit. What what's kitschy? Like like uh vintage. Oh, okay. Like, like silly vintage. And she bought them gollywog, same as like a Sambo salt and pepper okay. shaker for Christmas one year in front of the whole family. <laughs> and my sister in law's super woke and she got crazy, like, we can't have these. And I watched my, my cop brother in law open these two gollywog fucking salt and pepper shakers and I went to my mother, I'm like, what are those for target practice? <laughs> <laughs> did it crush or did it not crush? Crush. Let's go. <laughs> Crushed for everyone except the, the cop and the sister-in-law. 
<laughs> That's an unbelievable joke to hit at Christmas. <laughs> I'll be, by the way, might have been my first Christmas with the whole family. But also, it is a woke joke. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. It is about it is how cops shoot black people. It is an anti cop joke. Yeah. yeah. It can go either way. Very weird. But yeah. he just retired. Shout out my brother. My brother in law rules, and he just got, he just retired. And now he's psyched. He's like, now he can just shoot black. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, he's in his mid forties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can really, he can, he can pursue for, his passion. for the love of it. Like Rob's dead, like yeah. just wants to sit in that chair. Now he's like, I can just kill yeah, he's black. In his yeah. He gets a neon sign of a dead yeah. black kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black light. <laughs> he's in his. Mid- it's a dude missing a black person, and yeah. it says noobs. <laughs> <laughs> It, he's in his mid forties, and he's like, "I'm done, dude. I'm just gonna fucking fix cars now." <laughs> so he's got like fucking like old school like fucking oh, like rat rods in the garage. Mm. He's living it, dude. That's the life to live. Yeah. If I if it. I was nice with uh, fixing cars, I would want to start. Like, he's got like two or three rat rods that are beautiful in the yeah. back, and that's all day he's just fucking around in the garage. He's got the dude life. Does he live? Is he like a middle of nowhere dude? Uh, far into uh, Staten Island. Okay, that's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me and uh. I was talking to this with somebody the other day. My little brother, I'm from Tully, New York. It's like middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. My by little, Syracuse. Yeah, it's by Syracuse. Okay. But uh, my little brother still lives up there. And we were saying how like hillbilly front yards or like redneck front yards are just full of like lawnmowers and broken down oh, snowmobiles. Yeah. A car, snowmobiles. Yeah. fridges outside, like no, not plugged in. Dude, he's got like three lawnmowers, a fridge, a snowmobile, two trucks. And oh. it's, a, it's his property line between him and his neighbor's house. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> Uh, when I was in my band years ago, so I'm like, this is, I'm 36, so I'm like 20 in this story. There was these, there was these two girls, one of whom had blown everyone in the band, and she invited Love us it. to her house outside of Philadelphia, and we turned to go to her house, and it was a dirt road. And in the car, I turned to the other guys in the band, and, and I went, this? here, do this coke, suck my dick. <laughs> I went, how much do you got, how much are we betting? <laughs> on how many cars are in the front yard and how many of them have wheels. And we all ran it. I won three front yard, all cinder blocks. Damn. Pull up. Dad, full mullet, short shorts, sitting in a recliner. Outside. Uh, Right when you walk inside watching TV. Recliner outside is fucking, that's the white trash move. And this is how white trash situation it was. Her and the girl we were seeing and her best friend come running down. They excited to see us. Mom follows them 5 p.m. in a negligee with big fake tits falling out. Woo. Dad looks at us and goes, you the boys from the band? We go, yeah. He goes, yeah, I used to open for Foghat. And we immediately do the math. Wait, he just did the Jim Carrey fucking We immediately character? do the math, which is former musician dad, stripper wife, Crackhead daughter, and it was exactly what we thought. Yeah, that's not exactly calculus. Yeah, that's it a, was. It was. The that's a rhythm, a dick. Of, yeah, <laughs> got him. Yeah, dude, got, him. <laughs> God, I love watching the students become the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> did she, but, uh, what? What? Uh, what band did he open up for? Fog Hat. Fog Hat. Who are they? Do you know them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like a, it's like a 70s rock yeah. band. Oh, okay. What, what was their big jam? They got, I know I a couple of their jams, but I can't tell you the name of them. I know yeah, a lot I of Harrington's got it queued up. Harrington's a big fog. Uh, he's yeah. a big hat man. I, I know. Uh, I, I, yeah, they, they were definitely had a, ba- a song in um, like Rock Band or Guitar Hero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Guitar Hero too. Thank you. Okay, sweet. I think Slow Ride. Isn't Slow Ride Fog Hat? I think it might no. be. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Slow Ride. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the opening of Days and Confused. Oh, you mean oh, the dudes shit. from Cars? <laughs> Dude. I'm familiar. Okay. By the way, this is I what thought... a, this is the 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 YouTube uh fucking wormhole I'm in right now. I watch a guy who races die cast cars. I watch that. What are die cast cars? Like toy cars. I got metal, I got cars. suggested that after I was watching Marvel Racing a lot. And uh, it's just he sets up tracks at his house and races different kinds of like matchbox or like the cars from cars. Or like Mario racers, and then writes down how many seconds it takes them to get from the track, and has tournaments for his toy cars. <laughs> I watch it for hours. Does he have like a full camera setup? Oh yeah, it's filmed like a race. Yeah, I could get into that, but I, it's all great. Yeah, 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 uh, right. yeah. It's sweet. Uh huh. All right, fast forward. 
It is a two hour and 18 minute video. Oh, dude. I mean, this is much nicer than the guy I'm watching. Oh, yeah. Th this is the shit. This guy is just like in his house and there's not the background. Yeah, this is crazy. But that that's I watch those kind of videos all the time. I got caught yeah. in, a, in a rabbit hole today watching uh, octopuses going through mazes. Oh, yeah. dude, that's fucking crazy. Have you seen so the octopus cool. unscrew the jar? Yeah. From the inside? Yeah. There used to be a video. It's hard Wait, to... from the inside? Yeah. They I've stick an that. octopus in a jar, close it, and then the octopus gets out of the fucking jar. Oh, I didn't see that. There used to be a video. I, it's hard to find now, but we watched it on the show many years ago where, like, there's a fucking... There used to be an octopus who would get out of its tank, go into another tank, and eat the fish, and then go back, like, in, the, in an aquarium. Octopus are fucking crazy smart. Yeah. Like, they're, it's fucking... We probably shouldn't be eating them. They're probably, like, baby aliens. Yeah, I feel like that is going to give us, like, a mad cow disease type thing. Yeah, we're going to get cthulhu do, do you think there's, like, a dude in there? You know what I mean? And obviously there's that... A dude and an octopus? Yeah, do, do you think that, that uh, intelligence-wise, that's a dude? Like a dude level of intelligence? No, yeah. no. I, I think just think it's smarter. I think it's, like, dog level, though. Yeah, at least dog. Or, okay. I would even say, like, monkey. <sighs> that, that's dude adjacent. I mean, you saw that weird gay movie where that guy was hanging out with the octopus instead of his family, right? Yes, my octopus friend or <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my octopus teacher, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's called My Octopus Teacher because yeah. he taught him how to fuck octopuses. <laughs> so <laughs> tight. The guy was fucking the octopus? He had to be. Yeah. You never saw this? Pull no. up the trailer for My Octopus Teacher. You know what this it's is. It's very right? erotic and beautiful. I've seen, uh, I've seen Dolphin Lover. What is that? You don't know Dolphin Love? Dolphins Wait, are was dudes. it the lady that lived with the dolphins? Oh, no. is that the lady who gave the dolphin hand jobs no, every day? No, dude. This is a guy who lived with uh, female dolphins. And uh, Dolly was her name. Uh -huh. And he, people say he was just having sex with her. It was love, though. He really fell in love with this dolphin. And, <laughs> which uh, I think is fine. Which I think is fine. Yeah, yeah. If you love them, it's love. He also the they dolphin, can't say no, but they can go. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> 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 the dolphin was coming on to him, in his words. But it's a whole, like, 15-minute video, and he's like, I was fucking in the water, boner out, and mm -hmm. the dolphin, like, put her pussy on me. And well, dolphins fuck puffer. for fun. They've said that yeah, dolphins yeah. are one of the animals. Yeah. They also that... get high. Yes. There's all those videos of them fucking up puffer fish to get the fucking um, poison out, and they, and they huff the fucking poison in the fucking water. They said dolphins are one of the animals that fuck for fun. He, uh, They're dudes. This oh. is the guy, dude. Yeah. yeah. Abuse I suffered at the hands of... Of a so he he fucks a dolphin and, and then uh, they catch him. Hold on, I just saw the word fellatio. Yeah, he said a, a psychiatrist performed fellatio on him. Oh, okay. oh yeah. And my mother being. He also in this part talks about like he used to fuck his family's poodle when he was younger. He's a weird dude. Yeah. But the the dolphin did seems hit like on it. Him. Yeah. And one male dolphin. They were in a pool together. I went down to the park that day without any real. Idea I've watched this so many whether times. I was going to be able to make love to her or not, but just hoping that that would happen. We started a very long courtship that lasted about half an hour. Frankly, it was a little difficult to make love with her. There's no backstop in the water. It's a frictionless environment. This is a good point. She was very cooperative. She was very gentle. She was enormously erotic. We played games. We had to try. I like that there's someone that's very talented positions. at Blender that worked on this. Worked, <laughs> Several different positions. Water, and me being vertical, coming into her from the side. That's how I'd fuck a dolphin too, dude. Guitar <laughs> style. Hell yeah. <laughs> that dude's rocking out with his cock out inside that hero. dolphin. <laughs> he's freeing. By the way, they really did him a favor with this fucking Yeah, yeah he's yeah, jacked. Version. Yeah. Also, dude, I can't say... <laughs> they did make him jacked. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He had abs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think you want to be in good shape to fuck a dolphin. They weigh like fucking 400 pounds or something. Well, that's not that hard, but... Uh, <laughs> dude, right, I can't Jack. tell... Dude, if I start fucking and we're in a bad position, the immediate loss of heart on... Do you know how bad this dude wanted to fuck that dolphin? To oh, be shit. in cold water <laughs> and fuck up multiple times? Dude, I, don't, I, I, I don't even dude. like fucking in a shower. Yeah. In my house. Yeah. Like, just, yeah. This guy wanted to... This guy must have been rock hard. I mean, for one, the water. Two, the idea of this is the craziest, most illegal thing that I could do in I this I think park. that might keep you hard. That, that, that's that the ultimate. You think that's it? Like, I think, like, it's just like, yo, this is fucking... Like, a searchlight goes over his head, he just like, ducks down and keeps fucking her. <laughs> if I was on, like, a three-day meth bender and then just started doing fucking E... Like, yeah, I yeah. might be like, no, oh, fuck Started dolphin. doing E, 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 E. <laughs> <laughs> that's how many I would have to do to fuck the dolphin. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that, the best part about a dolphin is it doesn't feel good. You just flip her over. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs>
Zacky baby. <laughs> if you uh, the, if you fuck a dolphin's blowhole, is that a sixty six? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to kill them, right? They can't, can they breathe if you have your dick in their blowhole? I mean, I do it to my chick all the time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's why they call it a blowhole. Absolutely, brother. <laughs> but we were talking... Uh, I, I haven't seen it, but we're, I've seen like clips of it. We were talking about the Meg. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I saw Meg and Meg 2 in theaters. Yeah. Huge fan. Meg 2 is unbelievable. I haven't seen Meg 2 yet. No spoilers. I know there's a dinosaur, but no other spoilers. I will tell you. In spoiler alert, can apparently I spoil- you one- learn... Kung what? Fu in fucking marine biology yeah. school. Oh, yeah. Other <laughs> big spoiler in Meg 2, the dog's back. Oh, nice. Because right. I know you were worried about that dog from number one. Well, you know my, you know my friend Meg, big fat girl? Mm-hmm. I watched that movie, uh, and every time that Meg ate something, I was high as shit, and I was just like, you just got Meg! <laughs> <laughs> and I called her, and I was like, I'm making fun of you by myself in my house, and I feel like I have to tell you. And she's like, that's pretty funny, though. I do, because uh, that's what we were saying, is like, I hate how... Every every movie where a guy has to kick ass for some reason, he's never just a fucking ass kicking dude. He's also like a marine biologist or like an astronaut. What about Rambo? Rambo is a soldier. We're yeah. talking modern dudes. We're talking modern dudes. Rambo, oh, is, yeah. yeah, that was like back when shit. Oh was yeah, cool. what the fuck was bitch ass Adrian Brody in that Predator movie? He was like something else besides just fucking killing predators. Yeah, I forget. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The other funny thing about the Megs is that they're just Chinese propaganda. My, yeah, my buddy, who's a fucking construction worker, went off on this for hours. But I was like, yo, but fucking Jason Statham. Because they're, the they're co-productions with China. Yeah. So it's all these also, like, Chinese celebrities we don't know about. It definitely then, is. The it, whole movie. Dude, that girl's name is, like, Ging Ging. You can never get a job with the name <laughs> Ging Ging. All the movies are kind of about, like, how you should listen to the government. <laughs> Like, the Meg movies are definitely propaganda movies that they have snuck in with Jason yeah. Statham. <laughs> I don't know why I never put When I saw it in together. Bay Ridge, dude, I saw Meg 2 in Bay Ridge. It was me and 150 Chinese people <laughs> That's going so nuts. Because they would, like, clap when their celebrities got on uh, screen. Yeah. Uh, and really? I was like, who the fuck are these fucking people? <laughs> like, I could tell so them fun. apart anyway, but yeah, game like, game. they were just going yeah, bananas. <sighs> they loved it. It was, I got to say... Shit theater, both Megs, great movie experience. Yeah. I had a good time watching it. They're fun. Yeah. It's a good fucking dumb shark movie. Yeah. What is that no. stupid lady's name? Harrington. The Chinese lady from the Meg. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I'll look it up. What were you doing? What? I was look- I, th- I looked up so many things. I have the octopus <laughs> documentary up. <laughs> he's, still <watching> <laughs> Lover, yeah, yeah, he's still watching Dolphin Lover. Lee Bing Bing. Yeah, he's still just watching Dolphin Lover in there. Uh, Lee Bing Bing. Is what is it? Thing? Lee Bing Bing. Lee, come on, man. You're just making us racist. If this I is ever, our fault. If I ever have a kid, his his or her name is going to be all onomatopoeias, dude. <laughs> that, that, You're going to name a cut. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, do, do you fuck with Korea, dude? Do I fuck with Korea? <laughs> yeah, just generally. Like the food or the people or the face cream? The, the idea of Korea, the food, the people. Well, I'm not really more, I'm not much of a North Korea fan. They seem kind of shitty up there. You don't think they have it going on at all? No, no, I don't think, I think it's not fun at all. I think it's probably I pretty shitty. I, I, gotta, I, bet, I, I think that's the propaganda. That what, they're that not, cra- I bet they're all you having a good time. You can't see it from space because they're, they have no lights on at night. They're underground, dude. They're having a good time. You think I, they're just in a bunker? Yeah. Just so I, I have a buddy who does, uh, tours of countries and one of the countries he works for is North Korea and he went on a extended tour of North Korea for Americans but it was like a sign up only like they like vet you and shit yeah. I've watched documentaries and on you're those. not allowed to film anything yeah and he snuck a GoPro and I have seen his view from the bus and one of the things that they got as a tour group was whatever town they were in did a performance for them and I mean, the whole town did a dance for them. Wow. But as they were driving in, he filmed, and I don't want to get him in trouble, but this is so fucking funny. The whole town, like each family was on their front lawn practicing the dance because I'm sure like they get like executed if you fuck up the dance. Yeah. So it was just dads screaming at their kids had to learn this fucking dance for these fucking stupid Americans. <laughs> And he has footage out of the bus of all these, like, families all practicing the dance on the lawn. And then the video of the dance. And it's so fucking funny. It's crazy. But he said dude. that the whole tour, 
they would basically like dispel rumors. Yeah. So everything would be like, we have so much food. Everyone's so full of food. Mm. Have you seen all the food? Have you seen how tall this one guy is? It's just a guy on stilts. Yeah. <laughs> everything was just propaganda and lies. I saw a documentary where, uh, I guess the only, I think something about the only place you're allowed to take pictures is in front of the Kim Jong Un statue. Yep. Yeah. And he's like 300 feet tall and just jacked. <laughs> he's yep. like doing fucking flexes. I want to see a picture of this. The, the Kim Jong Un statues? Yeah. They're pretty huge, dude. Was it's it? Pretty cool stuff. The last Kim Jong Un, did he love Hennessy or something else? Kim Jong Il. Uh, I think it was Hennessy. Yeah, he does love Hen he liked Kim Hennessy. Kim Jong Il loved Hennessy. He liked Hennessy and Dennis Rodman. Yeah, he, he, but lo he yeah. loved, like, I yeah, think, those statues. I think he was, oh, like, yeah. the world's biggest supply, like, consume, yeah, yeah. like, the individual consumer of Individual Hennessy. consumer of wow. Hennessy all went to his yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. He beat Jay Z by this much. <laughs> He was spending thirty million a year on Hennessy and other high end spirits. Ooh. Hell yeah, dude! That guy was having a blast. Dude, that's yeah, crazy. Dude. Rob does that on Smirnoff monthly, dude. It's oh wait, cool. no, yeah. that's the current guy. That's oh, the current oh, guy. Oon. That's yeah, dude. Oon is spending thirty million each month. That's pretty dope. Hell yeah, yeah dude, a, a, year, a year, a year, a year. Sorry. Okay. Do you think he's like a? Oon is the dog. Do you think he's like pulling in bitches from other countries the way like these Saudi dudes do? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I I feel like I feel like. Uh, girls on Instagram are so stupid they'll just go to Dubai and then get fucking Saudied. You know what I mean? But like, I feel like even Instagram thoughts are like, I don't know if I should go to North no, Korea. No, dude. Un, Un's getting pussy for a Louis bag and a flight, dude. Bitches just want to go you somewhere. You think so? Yeah, bitches Absolutely. just want to travel. That actually is pretty true. Like, how many of them do you think go to their friends? Is North Korea the bad one? Do they, they have I don't beaches? Think so. <laughs> yeah. How are the beaches on North yeah. Korea? <laughs> yeah, but if you spend a week getting plowed out by a Saudi... Or you spend a week getting plaid out by one of the jongs. I bet you go home with a way less hurt and pussy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sure. fucking skip onto that plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to the fucking walking easy. like you were on a horse. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Well, I mean, his dick pixelates when he puts it in. <laughs> the, the, I, I want to go to Dubai. It yeah. does seem sick. It's that, I, I like that they don't have plumbing. That rules. They don't have plumbing. No, it, it's all uh, poop trucks, dude. It, if you look what? up, look up Dubai poop trucks. <laughs> that, no, they, 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 they don't have like, like sewage plumbing. and shit. Yeah, yeah. They, like, oh, they, okay. they have um. Yeah, yeah. Where do the trucks? They, they, where do the trucks bring the poop? I, dude, I don't know, but I know they put that shit in trucks. Wait, is it like honey dippers? The guys that pick up outhouses. Yes, yeah, it's more like that. Am that I was where? the worst. I used to work for triathlons as like a security guy. Yeah. And the the honey they, they call them honey dippers. The guys that pick up the shit out of port portageons. The truck smells so fucking bad, dude. Yeah, Why was there Will Smith the at the beginning truck. of that video? Because all the trucks go to his house. <laughs> they yeah, drop it off at it's, Will Smith. It's coming from the Burj Khalifa, and this is the line of poop trucks waiting to get out. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, that's so much poop. Wow, and it's Arab shit. Yeah. So it uh, is fucking potent. Stinky. You think they're trying to fertilize the desert? <laughs> Actually, that's yeah. not a bad idea. Yeah. Am I bugging or was are those Dubai buildings made invented? out of poop? Why are the buildings getting taller? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> are they making poop buildings? <laughs> was was Dubai just Foundation invented like poop? ten years yeah. ago? Yeah. <laughs> Dubai wasn't here in like two thousand eight, right? I think it was the early two thousands they started okay. building it up. Like I think it was there. Okay. Yeah, and then started... Tom Cruise was there. Yeah, they did the Mission Impossible. Impossible, and then they built those like islands that look like the world. I almost said that out loud the other day. I was like, I think Dubai is like a new city, but I didn't want people to be like, he's on some fucking other shit. Where's that place everybody was going? Tulum? I'm convinced Tulum didn't exist before COVID. Yeah, I hadn't heard of it. I've that. never heard of that place. And then all of a sudden there was fucking tens of thousands of people like at a rave in Tulum. I was like, this is a fake place. Where's Tulum? Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah. Supposedly. I don't think it's real. Like Australia. Yeah. Dude, it's all rappers. Rappers say a place in a song and I'm like, that's probably real. Turks and Caicos, never knew about that. Yeah, I never heard of that. I thought it was just in Jamaica. Dude, that's what I'm saying. It's all the same. Uh, so we're talking about your landlord. Yes. Early, before the show. And so it's just a chat bot that doesn't fix anything. Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to spread the word, dude. The, the property management company is called Home365. Yeah, I, I, I want to start one of these. Fuck them bulls, dude. Yeah, I mean, dude, you could probably get some money out of it, but... It's uh so basically th any company that tells you they're revolutionizing something 
is not revolutionizing the thing. Yeah, no. they're they're ruining your life, dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, in West. Well, Philly, property management companies were already dog shit, right? Yeah. And then, so now it's a property management company that doesn't care if you live My building, too, has been bought by a property management company. Yeah. And the decline has been... Noticeable. Nuts. Yeah. that You want it from someone. A well, person. When I all... moved into my building, we went and, like, met, like, the, the lady that owned the building. She had an office with, like, a, a secretary. And she's like, my family has owned this building for three generations, and we care very much about our clients. And it was great. And then yeah. six months we were there, we had a letter that they sold it. Now it's just an Arab guy who I call his cell phone. And he goes, okay, it hangs up. And then. Hold on, my poop truck is here. I call you back. <laughs> Dude, the, so like they knocked. I've told this on the shows before. It's gross and I, I'm embarrassed. But they knocked down the building next door to me in the winter. So it is just. There's a fucking exterminator sheet in my lobby that was blank for two years. Now. It is filled to the bottom with rats and mice, and people are literally writing in, like, giant letters, help. Yeah. It, this it, is what they did for it. My super came the other day, and everyone, like, they're coming out of my fucking faucets. It's nuts how bad it's got. You have cats, too. Yeah. That's crazy. And, like, they, I can't, we put fucking the gel, we there's have traps. in the faucet? Uh, no, the uh, roaches are coming out of uh, everything. Ugh. And I put out the gel, I have traps, I have fucking everything and we can't fucking deal with this problem and everyone is written like we have horrible we need exterminators my super came the other day rang the bell he just had a can of raid and he goes cucarachas and i went yeah really bad <laughs> and he goes cucarachas i went we have raid we need an exterminator he goes cucarachas and i went don't worry about it did you just yeah. pay, have you just paid for an exterminator no, supposedly they're sending one now. I wouldn't trust that. I would just pay for one. Like even like I, I mean, we have the, the 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 shit we have out is doing enough of the job. Okay, but we still get strays. Okay, yeah. that are like it, they're brave, dude. Wait, did you yeah. say gel or glue? Gel. Okay, glue traps are the nastiest shit ever. Dude. Yeah, no, we have like traps roach out. glue traps are even worse than mice. Root yeah, yeah, like we have we have traps, traps out. We have raid, and then we have uh, there's a gel that you're supposed to put around everything. Okay. Dude, I and caught the gel a, is the best thing. I caught a, a mouse on a glue trap like a couple, maybe a month ago, and uh, it was. I got out of the shower, and that's when I like noticed he was on there. So I was naked. So I was like, "Fuck, I gotta go like put fucking yeah. clothes on before I throw this mouse away." And then I thought he I honestly would just just wouldn't want to see a, a a dying mouse to see me naked. Yeah, I was like, my dick's out. It's yeah, not the best it's right strange, now. Strange, yeah. Um. So I and then you fucked it sideways. <laughs> Dolphin style. I, I put clothes on, and then I went back, and the mouse was, uh, he was, like, doing 360s, like, trying to rip his fucking body off the yeah. glue trap. I and, would do uh, the same thing. Dude, I noticed he was, like, he was getting close to getting off, so I grabbed some roach spray, and I was like... Oh, no! I was like, this'll kill him, and I hit him with the roach spray, and you could tell... He just screamed. No, dude, he just got, like... It was just cold on his back because he like did one of these and then he started like spinning around more. I was like, damn, I did just put cold shit on his back. And then uh, I fucking. It's like getting touched with a girlfriend hand. Yeah. <laughs> then I threw a couple of ice cubes down his shirt. <laughs> but he, dude, he was very close to getting off. And then I, uh, I hit him with a broom and he fucking exploded. It was pretty nasty. Oh. It was nasty stuff. That's a fucking beast. But uh, yeah, so you said you're. Doing dealing with this uh, oh, yeah. real estate company, yeah. And so I had Harrington go on ChatGPT, and apparently he got ChatGPT to write him the code for a real estate bot, and then Harrington realized he knew nothing about coding. So then he <laughs> typed in, "What do I do next?" <laughs> yeah, I mean the, the the shit they do is um they they say we're we're changing the way property management is done. Um, we're not, but we don't have property. maintenance guys. What we do is um. We, we have an algorithm in the uh, a place you could put inquiries to reach out to vendors to fix your place. And then th they pay the vendors? You would think. You but what, what happens is, so there's the property management company and the landlord. Uh -huh. And then, so our landlord sucks as well. Uh -huh. So what happens is. Is he also is, a robot? Uh, she, please. Oh, okay. Please. 
No, they I didn't realize they let women. It, what what pisses there. me off about this lady is we're we're living in misery, and then I looked her up on LinkedIn, and she like just got like these beautiful fake tits, and I'm like, this is where the rent's going. There's a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, I have negative wall, and you have outward tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> yes, good for her. In, in, in a way, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, yeah, I, you own a piece of those tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do have a stock in the tits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you so have, you have titty equity, yeah. equity. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to reach, dude. No, I, I I get the nod meant that we connected. Okay, sweet. <laughs> but um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah. So basically, what the property management company does is that there's no one that exists. There's one number you could call, and it's for emergencies. They're like if the house is on fire. And that's the only person we can call. So th there's like insane mold in the place. Mm -hmm. And we, we call them and we're like, th this place is getting ravaged by mold. Like, it, And it's like colors I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. So th we, we call the uh, emergency line and they're like, we, we have no idea what we could possibly do about this. Sorry. So we're like, all right, sick. So we, we start talking to a robot instead. And then they send someone over, and then this dude drills a hole in the ceiling, and he's like, I can't finish this because it didn't get approved by the landlord. So the property management <laughs> sends someone out, but they can't get paid unless the landlord says yes. Mm. And it's a whole scheme. So they they, they always send someone Fuck, to do like awesome. a quarter of a job. <laughs> Damn. Harrington, how's that, that program coming? We really need to get on this. Sorry, most of this show is just me trying to figure out how to never have to do a podcast. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I figured out exactly like like what the fourteen points I fifteen points I would need in the program, and I can get it to build me code for each individual step. I just want to point out Harrington couldn't pass the notary public test. Yeah, because you can't chat GPT that. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I tried. I bet you could. And I tried. You got to ask it the right questions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I got it to build me like every code for every step of the 15 step program. Mm -hmm. But it, I don't know how to put it together into one. I don't know anything about coding. Mm -hmm. You need a, what the hell is that program called? It, it builds code. I don't even know. I took a coding class. I built a website. It was fine. Yeah. What did your website do? Dr Dreamweaver. Yeah, that does it. I have that. I have oh. the whole creative cloud. So if I just plug all these codes into Dreamweaver, yeah, we should have... You have to have... buy a domain, and you have to upload all that shit into fucking GoDaddy or whatever gay shit. Okay. And then we now we're in business as a fucking corrupt property management company. <laughs> yeah, do my... Uh, every uh, winter, my ceiling collapses in my Every hallway. winter? Also, every winter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my super came to fix it. And I'm like, hey, can we like deal with this? So like, you're not here every winter. Like patching my ceiling, and he just sticks his head at my ceiling and looks at me. And goes, "He's no good." I was like, "What we do about that?" He goes, "No." <laughs> yeah, I wish I wish they all spoke. Uh, well, he comes English. to he comes to the house with a translator app. That's crazy. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, he comes with an app. My super is very Spanish, but mm -hmm. he's like, he's one of those like. I don't know. He's almost like a Pixar immigrant. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. he's very fucking pleasant. Yeah. Like I asked him why, like the fucking toilet was fucked up again. He goes, "Ah, the part is made in China." And just walked out of my apartment. <laughs> my, my old super was this old Dominican guy named Sammy, and every time he did anything, he would go, "I have to go to a hardware store. I'll be back." And then you would see him clearly drinking a tall boy in the bodega downstairs for like an hour. And he used to have a guy that was with him. That he had like a little union Mexican. rules, Zach. Union rules. He had a little Mexican that was like his helper, and one day the helper didn't come. Wait, he had a dink? Yes, he had a dink. Not and, a slur for Asians, it's no. a tiny clown. Yes. Uh, doink <laughs> from WWE had dink. Oh, and, yeah. But, so he had a little Mexican that helped him, and one day little Mexican doesn't come with him, and my, uh, my little roommate Stefan goes, hey, where's your friend? And he just goes, he die. <laughs> <laughs> the guy had been in our house four days before. The lack of compassion, and he goes... Oh, he died. <laughs> it just kept working. <laughs> yeah, Damn. Mexicans be dying. Yeah. yeah, they don't. Dude, I, I imagine a lot of them have just died in the last couple of weeks on the road here because I went from seeing way too many scooters to not that many scooters. Electric and, scooters? 
like all the fucking delivery boys were. I think they've all just slammed into each you other. Think they're all dying. I think they have all died. Yes. I thought a few weeks ago I ordered Uber Eats, and I'm tracking the guy, and a block from my house, the car just his whatever his bike just stops, and after 45 minutes, it goes. We can no longer complete your order. Here's here's a refund. And I went, that guy just got killed by a car. <laughs> With my food on his back. <laughs> dude, I've seen them like, dude, I bike here. I've seen them just splashed out. Yep. They don't know how to, they're, all right, so like you think of I like, saw one first, on the way to Staten Island the other day. Yeah, first of all. Just splashed out. They're not like, even head Mexican. across the pavement. It's not like they're Damn. Mexican. Mexicans, Mexico has like decent cities that work. Yeah. Yeah. Like these are and like these are like people from like the hills of fucking El Salvador who are just like ah the cartel is fucking shit up and they fucking walk across Mexico end up here because fucking Abbott sends them here in a bus and they're just like I guess I drive and they're all fucking crazy because like they they can't they're not allowed to work so they they get ripped off by somebody who lets them use their DoorDash account or Gr- Grubhub account then they rent this scooter so they gotta make three hundred bucks before they break even. And then, like, I think we should just let them work. What's up, Harrington? Well, as of today, uh, Grubhub, Seamless, Uber Eats, all those companies need to pay uh, Uber drivers, the, the, the driver per hour, $17.87. Yeah, but you know who's, who's not going to find out about that? Um, Guatemalans in a shelter. <laughs> the lady who runs their Grubhub account is going to be like, ah, fuck it, sweet, I'm making more money. <laughs> you get this, dickhead. Wait, they get 17 plus... On top of deliveries? Yeah, so that's their hourly rate uh, before tips now. Not bad. Dude. Oh, that's why you're not seeing that many of them on the road anymore. Because fucking, it's just, you can't do it. Yeah. Like, it can't possibly They're work. hiring now, dude. Can't just be everybody. Yeah, you just hire, you just go, now you're just going to a fucking shelter and be like, I need one. Yeah. You work for just this place. Only tips. Go fuck yourself. And they're probably still doing better. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like, not a bad I mean, idea. I haven't seen them all congregated that outside be, of any Shake Shack in a while. Have you ever either. seen the video of the Taco Bell that has the uh, the to go table that's just stacked with orders in the hood? No, <laughs> it's literally it's like a to go table at a Taco Bell, and it's just it's got to be thirty orders in a pile. Oh, and it's just like this because y'all be tipping two dollars or and it yeah. says these are all the orders where it had zero dollar tips yeah. that no one will take. <laughs> So Taco Bell just makes food in the hood and just throws it out because no one will pick up the zero dollar tips because they know they're not going to tip afterwards. Yeah. So people just order food. Taco Bell makes it and then throws it out three hours. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's that's the biggest scam in the world. Fucking cash tip at the door. And then they get there and they're like, where's my tip? Be like, bro, you know what this is. I'm not giving you a tip in the fucking delivery guy. Sometimes I am, but I'm saying... Dude, you're lucky you didn't put a brick through your windshield. You don't know him. <laughs> mm-hmm. hey, well, we're d- strangers to each other. I, no, so I tip now. I double tip when it's when I get the real place. If I know it's the dude that works at the place... Uh, then I'll, I, then I, I tip. I, I, do, I do a tip on the app, and then I keep uh, singles in my door that have like a little thing with like keys and like yeah. a note. And I keep a bunch of singles in there. So if they come quick, or if it's raining, or anything like that... I throw a cash tip on top. Dude, The I've told Chris this a bunch. Make sure you will. I got an Italian sandwich place I ordered from Leone's. Let's just call it Leone's. Yeah, Leone's sandwiches. Fucking I phenomenal. Do $10 on the app, $10 cash tip. They fly to my fucking house. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, I know I skip so many people <laughs> in the delivery line because they're fighting over who gets me. Yeah, right. They literally have an Opie and Anthony sandwich. Like, yeah. They like, oh, they yeah. like all this shit. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Honestly, the guy, like... the owner called me once because I had called their new location and he called me back and he went, Is this Zach Amigo the comic? I went, Yeah. He goes, Oh, I saw you on Chip last week. I got a guy coming to you right now. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> so I do the double tip now. They fuck it. They they throw extra shit in. Oh yeah. Do they send? Oh, what the fuck? They sent me like a super sad. No, it was like uh, the Italian rainbow cookies, but it was like brownies. Oh god. It was damn. some I've never had before. It was a oh no, it was at a it was the Italian rainbow cookies as a candy bar. Whoa. And they just threw it in my bag, and they was just like for Zach. That's great. I love it. Um, Harry, what's the ceiling challenge? It is a trend that is very popular on TikTok right now that I thought you guys uh, would enjoy. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, what is it? Explain it to us. Well, or I mean, you just want to show it to us. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a show don't tell kind of thing. Okay. 
Uh, so good name for a bar. Show don't tell. <laughs> oh hello. Okay. What's up with this bitch? Well, she's Does definitely she start twerking. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is a pretty good challenge. Yeah, I like this. And you're saying we should do this right now? Oh, no, you just, just thought we would like it. Yeah, uh, I just thought you'd really enjoy I, I, watching. I mean, I, I definitely do like that. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> good. There's a lot about that I like. Do you and, guys and, remember? And I know the, that kind of lady too. Do we, yeah, can we see another ceiling challenge? Do you guys remember there was like a thing? I was like Russian bitches. They would take pictures where like it was like a pose where their head would be down and you could see their ass over their head. Yes. I do remember that. That was yes. pretty good challenge. That was my favorite. Face down, ass up. Thank you. Thank you. I liked the uh, the silhouette challenge. I was a big fan of that. Oh, this oh. lady is a... Oh, yes. Are... How come they're dude, all... They're... God damn. How come they're all Zach's type? God bless America, dude. You're, you're not going to see this in North Korea. <laughs> this is also a floor challenge. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? The dirty carpet challenge? <laughs> Dude, she looks... Wow. She looks like one of those slinky suits. <laughs> uh, are you guys fans of the BB-dubs? Uh, extremely. I love a BB-dub, dude. I can't get enough of this stuff. Dude, really? I love... Dude, yeah. I'll tell you what, man. I said I said this to Dave Smith on the road. And he's like, you gotta do this in your ass. I don't think I can do this. Dude, my, my wife's a big gal. Big ass. Our first date... I mean, she's all ass. Like, By the way, this is the setup to one of your jokes. She's one third ass. The day I met her, pretty face, one third ass, and she's never fucked a black guy. I was like, "Will you marry me?" <laughs> yeah, that's so sick, dude. That's, that's a big win. <laughs> that's such a big win, I, dude. I met a fat girl that's all ass with a pretty face, never fucked a black dude. I was, I fucking put a ring on it as soon as I could. <laughs> yeah, brother. That, she, that, she's not gonna know. She's not no, gonna know how awful my dick is. Yeah, she just. I mean, she just wants someone. That I mean, she has an her. idea. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure she's aware that it's not a great dick. She had to put my dick ring back in the other day, oh, <laughs> because I had to take it out for something, and she put it back in for me, and I literally watched her just go, ugh, because she had to pop my dick out <laughs> to get it out long enough to put the ring in, and I watched her be like. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Dude, I feel like we might be twin flames. <laughs> For real. Nah, I've had weird stuff happen to my pee hole, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, Robbie's dick ring. I, I have Tom Fuller in the yeah. penis. What is it? What's, what's going on with your dick? I, uh, I, I, had, a, I had a procedure as a, as a uh, young boy where I, I like pulled a hernia at like a weird young age. And then, so I had like uh, surgery on that. Then they figured out that my, my pee hole was like closed up too much. So I had to uh, basically get sounded. Yeah. yeah okay. I, I had to get sounded for months. His dad did it to him. Yeah. Your dad put stuff in your dick hole? What you it, it was what a medical you? instrument. Yeah. But stuff, <laughs> stuff yeah, yeah, for the no, most I part. It. <laughs> I guess it was stuff. Yeah. 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 And it was just uh, things from around. <laughs> what? Maybe they just told you that. <laughs> you, you think they're playing dick games with me? Yeah. You got Children's up. Hospital in Philadelphia? Yeah. Playing sweet penis games? That's a pretty good prank to play on a kid. You know what I mean? You just, as a doctor, just. Yep. Yeah. Oh, got your dick. Your, da your dad's going to have to put a chopstick in your dick. <laughs> how, how thick were the instruments? Uh, it, it was it like was... gauges. He kept sizing up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they were like no, graduating like... butt plugs. Yeah, I would say it was like <laughs> yeah, this yeah. thick. Okay. Damn! Wait, put, no, 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 like that. That does the camera see that? That's like that's as compared to a, a Bic pen. Uh, it, it was how, how many micrometers it, it was, was it? It was like towards Cat. the tip for okay. sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's not where you hold it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah, I had a buddy that did sounding videos, and oh. he came to my old apartment once, and he went to the bathroom and went, "I just pissed chunky blood. I have to go home." <laughs> That's such a sick excuse, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna use that next time I'm at the bar. Chunky blood. I just is a great chunky stripper blood. Name. Yeah. Chunky. Dude, I miss Chunky blood. I have to leave. And I'm like, yeah, get out of here, dude. That's nasty stuff, dude. But yeah, man. I mean, I, I, did I don't, he have to get it down to the base? <sighs> that, How far it. down was he going? Uh, I, I think it was just enough. It, it wasn't super until you deep. got hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just enough to all satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, ju just enough to get that sweet hole open, dude. Cool. And how are we doing now? 
It could be better. Cool. It could be better. Oh, that- damn. Your dad's bad at expanding dick holes? Yeah. <laughs> he's, a he, fucking, he, he's, he's a, a fucking scientist. chemist, dude. Yeah. You think he'd be able to figure this out? He can't use like a some sort of a what's that? A Goldberg machine? What's it called? <laughs> a Rube Goldberg? Yeah, Rube Goldberg, a Goldberg machine. machine. <laughs> it kicks it kicks Bret Hart in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just jackhammers it your ru- dick. It ruins yeah. Bret Hart's career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you uh, do you got to get it done again soon? You think? No, nah, I don't think so. I mean, I, I only piss weird when I'm hard. That's everyone. Yeah, that's, that's everyone. everyone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that? Is Hold on, wait. You didn't know that? Yeah. How old are you? 30. You didn't know that everybody pisses weird when they're hard? He just counted how old he was. Yes. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you, Joe? It's one of those things where I, I, don't, I don't talk about it with guys. You guys are like a redneck fucking Bert and Ernie. I don't, it's fucking weirding me out. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you like that? that. <laughs> All right, we, you, you, sorry. What, what go, ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to move on to this other topic. That's yeah, also yeah. Please, weird. please. No, you, we can talk about your dick hole some more if you want. Yeah, no. Rob, whatever you want to say about your dick hole is fine. This is a safe space. It's good, man, dude. I, I come nuts. Really, I, I, I do bonkers come. <laughs> Wait, is it because it's like somebody put their finger on a water fountain so you just splash a bitch? <laughs> yeah, dude, my my lady is drinking. I'm like, yo, save some for the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great podcast. <laughs> I mean, we're having fun. I don't yeah, care right. if anybody listening is. Oh yeah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. This you think us. we do podcasts for the people? This is for the no. Boys. We're all mentally ill. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and need the fucking schedule friend time. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I, I'm still it's in the point of uh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, the N word is so sick. Dude, we're all mentally ill fucking weirdos, and we need, in order for us to have friends, we need to schedule it and have microphones in front of us. Yeah, right? absolutely. If we were regular people, we would all just be friends. Yeah. That yeah, is that's unfortunate. Could you imagine I'm just I'm in a being dart boys? league on Mondays, and those guys are pretty well adjusted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they all have shitty, like, eh, some of them have good jobs, some of them have shitty jobs, but they're all, like, I mean, they're all they're al- just dudes. They're alcoholics. They're tricking on a dudes. Monday. Yeah, like, yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. I think I found the best one of these uh, ceiling challenges, by the way. Oh, let's Let's pull it up. (laughs) Monroe Martin. I thought it was Sam (laughs) J. Same difference. All right. Whoa. Is that still a dude, though? I got to be honest, this dude's got a great ass. Yeah. Is that Sunny Kiss? (laughs) That's pretty good. Dude, that guy's got a great ass. I. I have no. If you didn't know, now you, you know. <laughs> That's fair. The if that ass was just up at a glory hole, you'd be like, "That eh, seems like a chick's ass." I'm flabbergasted yeah. by that ass. Yeah, I don't even know what to it. say about that. Flabbergasted. The uh... <sighs> <laughs> there we go. I, I, now uh... you would be. So, now you would have just left the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, this is where I can let my hair down. <laughs> Not that Naeem is. Naeem can't do that. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, neither can I. No, it'd take a lot of work. Yeah. Probably take a hot comb. <laughs> but, uh, uh, do you think when Naeem's parents were trying to name him, somebody somebody tried to say, Not, not what I mean, but the nurse got confused? Not nah, mean? Yeah. Not nah, mean? And yeah. they're like, All right, yeah, sure. Nah, I they just wrote it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I meant Jeff. <laughs> and Malcolm. Fuck. Uh, I want to. I want to watch this Jack Osborne video that you sent me, Zach. Oh yeah. So, are you guys into conspiracy shit at all? Oh yeah. So Jack Osborne on a podcast dropped some shit. Okay. And uh, he was trying to be subtle, but I think he was hinting at certain people. So I would love to know your guys' opinion. All right. Yes. You got it, Harrington. There we go. Unmuted. Spiritualism, fucking portal opening hole. I know I'm gonna have to really choose these words wisely because they're spilling tea and then there's kicking over the fucking bucket of tea. I know for sure it's a fact. That's a very Numerous funny story witnesses to, Jamie to this. One of the biggest pop stars in the world right now. Big, huge, fucking huge. Had an incestual relationship with a biological family member. And you can find nothing about this family member anywhere. If you're leaning into the fucking 
people <laughs> pulling the strings, calling the shots, whatever. To me, the level of success of this individual, knowing what I know, it that's like some selling your soul type shit. How do you? Well, I figured I, you I, know. I know it from people Kennedy? that went way back with these with these individuals. Yeah, it's fucking insane. And how this hasn't got out, because here's the thing. If I know, a hundred people well, know. If we are going... It's crazy mm. that Miley Cyrus did that, dude. Yeah. So that's one of the ones I've heard. And yeah. then the big obvious... Billie Eilish? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is a big one, too, yeah. I, I didn't, but I didn't she... think of Billie Eilish. I yeah. Th yeah, I'm thinking Billie Eilish. Yeah, because she has family in the recording industry. Her correct? brother. Yeah, but my first producer. thought was immediately yeah. like, ah, it's probably Britney Spears. And then he goes... Right, and then I was like, oh, it's right, right now. now. Yeah. So the way he said that you can't see anything about this person, because Billy Eilish's brother is pretty, they know that he wrote her shit. Yeah. yeah. I think Taylor Swift, and this is why. Can you bring up, uh, I can't remember, the uh, LaVey? That song went, I will never, ever, ever fuck my brother again. It was weird. <laughs> so there, I... Did think, it really? So there's people that think Taylor Swift is Anton LaVey is re related to Anton Anton LaVey from the Church of Satan. Okay. Because she looks identical to his fucking daughter. Oh. And if you can bring that up. So that's who I think he's referencing. I think Miley Cyrus makes a lot of sense. So wait, Taylor Swift's real dad is from the Church of Satan. So that's Holy Zena shit. LaVey. That's crazy. Who is Anton LaVey's daughter? That's crazy, dude. And if Whoa. you're telling me and those that's a picture of her on a fucking talk show. That's not a fucking yeah. Photoshop, that's not a great picture they got of her one day. So people are saying Taylor Swift is Zena LeVay or is Zena LeVay's Some daughter? people think it is. Some people think that they're she's another daughter of the LeVays. Ah, uh, okay. A hidden one? A hidden But you could find everything about them on fucking Google though. You yeah, can't find not or can you? Not if there was other ones we don't know about. Taylor Swift's right. life, if you if you look it up, it is confusing. It's very uh, like yeah, she all the dots up, don't connect. Yeah, they say she grew up in Philly, but a lot of it says she grew up in like Reading or like somewhere in between, and that she moved to Nashville when she was young. So it's a lot of like it's a lot of untraceable shit. You know what I mean? Oh, all, she jumped. Well, like she jumped around. She moved like, around a lot. She got signed young. Got signed young. Also, and that part of to Nashville. I, I heard the Travis Kelsey relationship is fake. I mean, but I, think, I also I think ninety percent of celebrity relationships is fake. I just saw that today on Twitter and mm -hmm. uh, Paige. Van I think Zant a lot of those relationships. Are, Paige Van Zant said it. Fact. It's yes. definitely a fact. I think a yeah. lot of relationships in the celebrity world are contractual mm -hmm. because uh, money. I have heard. That, so Ralph told me this. He knew a lady that had been offered a contract. I told you this in confidence, sir. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you, Ralph. That had been offered a contract to marry Tom Cruise. Okay. Mm -hmm. And essentially, oh, I, yeah, it's the deal the Katie Holmes got, which was you marry him for 10 years, have a kid, et cetera, et cetera, just to keep the fucking uh, ruse going that he's a straight dude. Wow. Mm. So I think a lot of celebrity relationships are made by PR people. It, it's crazy how many people are secretly gay. But it's also yeah. like just the, be gay. The, well, the no. big thing is uh, Dude, Will Sean, Smith would have never. Yeah, Will Smith Sean Mendes. I'm gay. <laughs> I agree with you. Will Smith is definitely a gay man. He would have never been Will Smith though if he wasn't. If he Dude, was there's gay. the video. He there's got the those interview where he says that the smell of pussy made him throw up. Will Smith said that. Yeah. Recently. Well, the smell of pussy can make you throw up. Every pussy? Oh, every pussy? No, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't say one pussy. He every pussy shouldn't pussy. have a smell. Yeah. yeah. He said he was getting so much pussy around the time of like DJ Jazzy Jeff and, and the Fresh Prince okay. that he just was fucking too much and he was sickened by how much pussy he was getting. I drink a lot of Natty Ice. <laughs> yeah, fucking Every good time for him, you dude. open yeah. a Natty Ice, I'm like, that smells pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I, I can't believe this, dude. That Will Smith is I, gay? I simply can't. Or, uh, that I, or that I like Natty Ice. It, that's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah that, that's nuts. No, 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 no I had a white claw because Zach likes him. Yeah. I, I think uh, with, with Will Smith, I think it, it's going on with a lot of people. It, if you put the magnifying glass on anyone, it's going to go crazy, dude. Yeah. I, I, it's always going to be gay. I, I've reluctantly gotten into comedy drama channels. Yeah, dude. And, and, then, and then I stopped watching them. But they're, they're like, uh, it, it, it's pretty it's pretty nuts getting into that stuff because i watch it 
doing podcasts and comedy and stuff like that. And I'm like, damn. If you like looked at me close enough, you could find all the gay shit about me. So I think really what everything comes down to in life is just like how much people are looking. Mm-hmm. Because that's, that's what gay because everyone is gay and sucks. Mm. So do you think Will Smith <laughs> is a regular? Because I wasn't Suck Will Smith clit, nigga. <laughs> yeah. vaguely involved with Scientology for a while, or they were friends with Tom Cruise. Or Will something? Smith was a Scientologist. Yeah, so that it's, to me, already to me, Scientology already gives me gay. a hint of you're gay. Yeah, and apparently Jada was never involved. Yeah. So that uh, I don't know. That kind of leads to like the whole. She never was with what he was doing. I'm just gonna go make him be a cuck type shit. Yeah, because to me, like the whole Scientology thing to me is a cover up for something. Right. Yeah. Like you're if you're involved with Scientology, something to me says you're up to no good. I mean, you could just be stupid. You could be dumb as fuck, but if you're a celebrity with it, you're using because they have the most powerful. Like lawyers and shit to keep all your shit hidden. Mm -hmm. So if you have shit to hide, you join Scientology. Damn, so all the good lawyers are Scientologists? No, they're Jews. Yeah, they're Jews who work for Scientology. They're Jews who work for Scientologists. (laughs) Makes sense. Because the way Scientology works, it's like create like I don't know if you guys know this. If you bring (laughs) so if you're a regular citizen who's a, a Scientologist, you get a promotion. If you bring a celebrity into Scientology, right? Because there's levels. You get bumped up for having celebrity friends that you bring in. So the whole point of Scientology, if you're like a plea, like a fucking low level dude, is to bring in famous people, and they reward you for it. So I do think there's this thing where, like, if I come here, I can kind of save myself. Yeah. From discretions I do not want people to know about. That's like any other. And I can hide Epstein. behind my weird ass fucking space religion. Yeah. Mm. As opposed to just Jeffrey Epstein. Yes. Mm. That makes sense. That's fair. All right. There's this thing called uh, MAGA DOMs and Lib, cu- uh, uh, lib uh, Subs. You want to see I'm into it? it. Yeah, let's do it. Harrington, you bring up the MAGA DOMs and Lib Subs? Uh, yeah. So I have an article from uh, Washington Post about it. Hold on. Uh, I'm a, uh, a liberal cuck, libtard cuck. Uh, so it goes, uh, it, it goes two different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, there is uh, liberals uh, who, you know, as, as you were saying, MAGA doms and, and uh, liberal subs, uh, they'll, they'll pay dominatrixes to tell them to vote for Daddy Trump. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was one guy... Uh, who said that he he's a straight male, but he went to see a black male uh, dominatrix uh, to get beaten uh, for voting for Donald Trump. Hold on, I have the drop for that too. Piss in my ass, nigga. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he 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 went in, and the the rules were he would be beaten and told uh, he could he could vote for more moderate Republicans, but extremists like Donald Trump and Ted Cruz were off limits. I mean, what are his choices then? Yeah, I mean, who? Yeah, who are you gonna vote for for president if you're gonna vote for it, Nikki Haley, like a bitch? I'm sorry, I have to go piss so bad. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh damn, I was really, I was really excited to get your opinion on no, something. I will be right back. Bring is, it up. It, is there some like? That's the I'm oh, that's the dom. That's the dom. Come on, uh, he's getting who's... too old for this, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy who was getting beat by the dominatrix. No, no, no. no he that's was doing... the dom who was beating the dude, the straight, the supposedly straight Republican. This is a... never vote for Trump again. Yeah, it was like a frat bro, like twenty something year old. By the uh, way, like, dude. can we stop with the fucking politics? Is getting into too much things. Yeah. I don't think it needs to come into the su- sub dom relationships. Like, just call them fucking gay and tell them they have a little dick. It's enough. Yeah. Also, I didn't know there was male dominatrixes. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't there be a male dominatrix? I mean, sure, I'm sure they get paid, you know, 70 cents on the dollar to a female Co- dominatrix. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the female one is the uh, just the one that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. The female Asian one, probably higher. Right. I met a, a disgusting white fem- uh, female dominatrix. Oh, yeah, they're not hot. One of the ugliest ladies of all time. It was back when I was selling Fios door-to-door. <laughs> And, uh, dude, she got... Yeah, this is the worst porn I've ever heard of. Dude, she Tell got... Tell me you the... love Comcast, yeah. bitch. Hey, you like fiber optic? Next thing you know, you're tied up with fiber optic cable. <laughs> yeah. She's just smoking a fucking palm all, putting it out on your nipples. Dude, that was... 
<laughs> my my judgment of how people's finances were were how willing they were to buy cable and like every channel, HBO, five cable boxes. She did it all. Oh, really? Yeah. So she was fucking loaded. Loaded. But she she was telling me in the midst of signing her up and doing her credit check, she was like, I fucking piss on dudes all the time. Dude, yeah, I fucking have talked to like some like Dom Che and they're just like, Yeah, it's like we I, I used to fucking hang out with this hooker and she was like, The most money I make is this dude I just grind my fucking heel into his nuts in his nutsack and he jerks off on my shoe and I charge him like eight hundred bucks. It's like five minutes. <laughs> I mean, what an industry. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the dom I used to see had a guy that he would just fuck his pillow while she pranced around his room. Such a these kinks are very strange. He me. she he wanted her to like run around a room like a fairy, and he would fuck his pillow the whole time. Do you, but do you also think that this is like a weird? Maybe we need to not have politics in this sub dom relationship. As somebody who has done this, yes, of course. Like it's kind of. Can we get, keep politics out of one thing? Yeah. I mean, I've never asked the political affiliation of my dominatrix. Yeah, it's very strange that people are into this. I mean, it's probably just an extension of whatever fucking happened to them as kids. I'm sure their mom was something and their dad was the other thing. Oh, yeah. And then that their idea of sex or something is two people who hate each other politically. Gotcha. Yeah. Keep it out of the dinner table and out of the dominatrix pussy. Yeah, I think That's so. That's what I was always told. Is there any, like, a... Uh... Did they have any, like, specific political toys, Mike? Sorry, what was that? Did they have any specific political toys? It Also, the... it's kind of race play. Oh, because is that what it is? So Yeah, because there's definitely dudes that well, are... they said there was a black, the black guy. Did yeah, you see it, that it, picture? It, it's race play. Yeah, so it's just a new... It's a because model. when I dated that cam model, uh -huh. there was, like, a, a, a dude with, like, a bleach blonde crew cut. Who would jerk off to her calling him the N word? Uh, a white dude fine. who yeah, was, came to getting called the N word. Yeah, I can relate. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's good stuff, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I think hard it's hard R. Chris, yeah, if yeah, you hit yeah, that yeah. sound effect one more time, I'm a bust, dude. Relax. Piss in my ass. Oh my god, dude. But yeah, I think it's 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 more than political play. It's um, not to be uh too much, but it's socioeconomic sexuality. I got you. Yeah, so they, they actually touched on that in here where one uh, one guy asked to be dominated and shamed because he supports policies that hurt the working class. Oh, he's a communist. <laughs> <laughs> she put him in a blue collar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Now get ready for the red wave. <laughs> Woo! No, nah, I like that shit. No, nah, I, I can understand the the... The weird dynamics of sexuality, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm what they call in the industry a switch, where I, I want to feel I want to feel like the man sometimes, but also like call me gay and tell me my dad's dead. You know what I mean? All right. You know what I mean? <laughs> you ever, you ever uh, had a I'm, girl I'm spit a, in your mouth? I mean, I enjoy no, that. but I, I'm Every, not who against does, that. Who doesn't enjoy that? It's pretty great. Yeah, you you like spit in the mouth? I I don't hate it. If it's yeah, like so, a if it's like a direct transfer to my mouth, I've been I've had like spit thrown in my face before, and that isn't cool. No, no, I don't want that. Yeah, no, I no, girl, it's got to stay warm. Yeah, if yeah. it gets cold, it's gross. Well, not like literally thrown, but I had a girl like on top of me spit full loogie like in your face. Yeah, no face is no. Dude, problem. I was so no, in the mouth. straight in the mouth. That's just a bully. Yeah. yeah, I balled my fist up. I wanted to punch her in the head, dude. If a chick spit in my face, it would first of all. She would not be able to walk for three days because I would just keep banging her. <laughs> Anal. But yeah, it's she would be in a lot of fucking physical pain the next day. <laughs> yeah, like it would be. Well, would, for those of us who don't have that ability, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to be ableist. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make yeah. the front of your pussy hurt for days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep knocking on the door. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my battery ram dick. <laughs> Dude, I remember yeah. you know, one of the hottest things ever. I smacked a girl in the face while she was riding me, and she just went, Did you just smack me in the face? And didn't break stride and just beat the shit out of me. And I was like, This is pretty hot. How bad? Like, she left a mark on my face. Like, it was open hand, but yeah. she just smacked the fucking shit out of like, And you oh. liked it? Yeah, it was pretty hot at the time. Yeah. yeah. I was like, This is pretty dope. I was also on Oxycontin. 
Yeah, yeah. that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever yeah. had a lady who wants to be smacked and you uh you didn't feel comfortable smacking her Absolutely as not. hard as she wanted to be smacked? Absolutely not. You're always down. So no, I was hitting go. a lady pretty hard one time. She was like harder. I was like, I think I'm gonna hurt you if I go any harder than this. So here's why I'm apprehensive. Uh-huh. This is oh man. This is Zach not incriminating himself. I was with a girl that was hypothetically, and uh, she asked me to punch her in the face while we were fucking. This is many, many moons ago, and I, I unleashed, and it was great. It was great sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, a week later, on her phone, she had pictures of the bruises on her chin and her cheek. She had documented them all. And I went, why did you take pictures of these? And she was in special effects makeup school and said, I wanted to take pictures of what a good bruise looked like. But I went, no, 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 no. You are keeping these in case this goes sour. Yeah. Mm. And you can try and ruin my life. Mm. <laughs> and she's like, no, absolutely. I was show- And then I was like, have you shown these to anybody? She went, I showed them to my class. So that... That relationship had to end. Yeah, I would yeah, leave immediately in that situation. I was just Damn. too nervous. Even if she was 100% telling the truth, no. No, what a crazy bitch move that is. Yeah, it was It was some wild shit. That's nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Now, she's your wife now. <laughs> of course. No, she'd beat the shit out of Dude, my chick's from fucking Marine Park. She would beat the yeah. shit out of me. <laughs> My chick would beat the shit out of me, and then three days later, three other guys with fucking baseball gloves would come and beat the shit out of me. I did not trust that. My chick was baseball gloves on, batting gloves. <laughs> yeah, batting gloves. Uh. Thank you. My chick with my chick is Brooklyn as fuck. She, yeah, she is. Yeah, Chris is Chris is Chris is knows my wife. Yeah. My my chick is as Brooklyn as it gets. Yeah, yeah, she's for, yeah. She went to Madison High School, which is a. Uh... Corn dog high. Yeah, yeah. They had the corn most... dog high. No horn. Horn dog, dog high. high. Uh, no, no. I went to corn like... dog high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally, uh, like six teachers in a year got caught fucking students. Damn. Two, and two teachers got caught lezzing out during an assembly, an assembly. by a the janitor, janitor caught them with each other. Or... With each other. Nice. And yeah. the janitor. That's did... not a crime. And the janitor didn't have the sense to go. Let me join, or I'm gonna tell. Yeah, he just told. What a dickhead. <laughs> what a dumb motherfucker. Yeah. The greatest day of your Sounds life. Sounds like you're super. Yeah, you walked away. Cucarachas? <laughs> he just walked in with Raid. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do one more thing and get the fuck out of here. Um, you sent me... Uh, what's the trailer for the movie you sent me? Okay, so this is a uh, conservative comedy that's coming out. Dude, I think I saw this. Jingle Smells? Yes. Oh, my God. So a few years ago, a many... Uh, when Blockbuster was closing, I went and bought a ton of DVDs for a dollar. One of them was called An American Carol, and it's a Christmas, a conservative Christmas carol starring uh, Kevin Farley as a fake Michael Moore. Okay. Where all the ghosts of conservative past convince him to no longer support liberalism. Kelsey Grammer's in it and all these like conservative celebrities. Much in the same genre... There's a movie, a Christmas movie coming out this year, and where it's released, I will leave for the trailer because it is a great reveal. Okay. And this is Jingle Smells, a movie coming Ooh. out this year. Jingle Smells. I'm very excited about it. It's very hard to find a place that even comes close to being worthy of your beauty. It's romantic. It's about you and me alone. Wow, look at the two of you. Merry Christmas, America. Hollywood has... From producer Sean Hannity. Stone. Stone uh. will be digitally replaced by... James AI. Storm. Stone. Oh, that... Victoria Lord Jackson. Lord Eric Roberts. Mason Stone character. Wow, this is a lot of... By Christmas Eve. You gotta be kidding me. How'd you get it? Oh, oh fell off the truck. Hornswoggle. Truck Brad Williams. Oh. Gift giver. Jim Burr. Again. If you get busted with those toys, you're done. And you made me an accessory. Well, you know what they say. Some accessories are required. Am I smiling? No. Jingle smells, jingle smells, stinking all the way. They called me Jingle Smells. Yeah, I know. So the, oh, it's on premiering Rumble. on Rumble. Premiering on Rumble. It's the story of an actor in a superhero movie gets canceled. Steals all his own toys to deliver to children on Christmas so that they still can get the toy of the canceled superhero. Genius. <laughs> if Fuck. you don't think I'm watching this on Spook Show. Oh, yeah. I'm in. 
Well, son of a bitch, I'm in. So this isn't the one I thought. I saw one the other day for a Lady Ballers. Have you seen the? Oh, we watched. Oh yeah, that we watched earlier. that earlier today. I'll well, say when that comes good. out, I want to watch that on Spook Show with you. That looks unbelievable. Uh, but this, yeah, I just we were I, saying it actually looks like this could vaguely be self aware. It could be good. Yeah, yeah. it seems like they, this one looks so fucking. I mean, the fact that it goes from producer Sean Hannity, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and then when it goes premiering on Rumble, they're not even trying. <laughs> They're not going to go DVD. They're not going to well, go. Well, first of all, there's no point to go DVD. Like, I mean, Amazon. I mean, there's something. no point to go Rumble either. Well, there is a point if Rumble paid for the fucking thing. True. I would assume Rumble might have paid for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so fucking bad. That's crazy. Yeah, what a crazy nuts. idea for a movie. And first of all, Victoria Jackson may be the most underrated, crazy, conservative celebrity. I didn't know she was crazy and conservative. <clears throat> so here's the fun thing. I actually just rewatched Weird Al's UHF last night, coincidence. Okay. And he had tweeted once, like, I had no idea I accidentally cast the most racist people in America. Oh, it, yeah, because it's, it's Michael Victoria Richards. Jackson Jackson and Michael Richards. <laughs> Is Michael Richards in that movie? No, but uh, he's in UHF. And uh, it's just so funny. The pe- like, can we, real quick, I will say one of my favorite kid comedians to watch the clips Jim Brewer puts out now, I go, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. He does a clip. He's like, remember the women's march? And then he just picks up the mic stand and walks around the stage going, we're women, we're women. And the whole crowd loses their mind. The horse shit he does now <laughs> is fucking unbelievable. The fun, One of the funniest fucking stand-ups. The fact that he has just gone... Full fucking dude, Kumia. The, the way that well, they did, fucking did, they fall, dude. Because it's the same with. A, I want to know where they find the audiences for these too. It's got to be. <laughs> so I think it's one of those things. Like it's like if you can't love the one you want, you love the one you're with. Yeah. Yes. Or quote, you know, dance with the one that brought you. Well, it's like that yeah. the Roseanne special. I I don't know Roseanne. She's probably great, but fucking the clip she put out for her special was like. My pronouns is I'll whoop your ass or something like that, and like mm-hmm. or kiss my ass, and it got a fucking standing ovation. And I was like, that I would bomb so hard with that if I tried that at any show I do. Yeah, it's crazy. Course. She's just famous. Yeah, but yeah. where well, I did, guess did Jim Brewer like have an incident or something? Like, how did he fall into that? He, dude, he that's just what very, he does. Now. He was just he, very anti-COVID, he, and then it just like ballooned. So something happened. No, and, like, I think, no, I think he was just, like, anti-COVID and it became his personality. The same yeah. way, like, there are, like, people out there who COVID became their personality. Yeah, it's like Gino like... with success. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it's like it's Rogan, fair. honestly. Like, I think, I don't think people realize Rogan was, like, as conservative as he is before COVID. I don't think Rogan but... was as conservative as he, like, if, I, if I'm breaking this down, I was, like, thinking about this recently. It's, like, people, like, liberals in New York shit on Rogan constantly. I'm like, but there's all these like liberal causes that Rogan championed for decades, like psychedelic medicine, fucking weed, abortion, the innocence. He he brought a lot of attention to the innocence project, which is a fucking great charity. Like, it's like, he really did do all these things that are like prison reform and shit like that. Like he's pro free education. And then it's just like, I I just don't like all this stuff. And now he's just right. And I don't even know how conservative or not he is, but I'm just saying, like, he gets grouped in with that because of the vaccine shit, so. It's also a chicken and egg situation where, like, were they this bad until the backlash, or did they start feeding into it because so many people... Or it's also so many people are mad at you and you're just a fucking contrarian that you start digging your fucking heels in. Like, I have to constantly... Mike will fucking attest to this. I have to constantly fucking check myself and just be like, am I just doing this to be a fucking dick? Like, I've even talked to Dave Smith about this, and I've gone, like, are we just this way because we grew up around, like, literally the shittiest liberals on the fucking planet in fucking Brooklyn? And he goes, I don't know, maybe that's how it started. And I go, all right, there you go. The fact that I get called a conservative and a liberal every single day in comments. All the time. Yeah. All the time. It's nuts. That's why I don't vote, dude. I don't know anything. Yeah, voting is fucking Voting's gay. gay. Voting's so gay. Dude, I yeah, voting is <laughs> this fucking, country was. I felt dude, gay voting for myself for county committee. When we were in Europe, uh, there was a bunch of part of the problem fans, and they all wanted to talk to me about politics. And I just remember this one guy. He's like, "So would you consider yourself a libertarian?" <laughs> and I went, "Ah, oh, nah, they're man. All, they're all Swedish." Yeah. And I went, "Nah, man, that's not really my thing." And he goes, "Oh, you voted for Joe Biden?" And I'm like, "No, man, I just think America was bought and sold hundreds of years ago." 
Yeah. And it's a corporate decision who gets to run the country. And nothing we do matters because it's all corporations. And he looks at me and went, that's too much for me. And just walked away. That's sick. Good. I'm glad you broke that fucking dumb I really, I really did break him. Be like, brother, you, you talk like you a cartoon stand. horse. Don't bring up my country's <laughs> politics to me. <laughs> you don't know about us, dude. I said, are you a libertarian? <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'll, yeah. Sometimes I, when yeah. I'm on the road with Dave, this week, people because I'm not like anywhere near him mm. and like Rob, and people start talking to me I'm like, "I'm gonna go get drunk." I like say that <laughs> fairly often. I'm, yeah, that, that's I'm, where I'm at, dude. I'm like, "I'm gonna go get drunk." I, I couldn't possibly give a shit, and I'm not criticizing anybody. It's that I'm too stupid to have an opinion on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not well read about. Like, the, listen, horror movies. I'll talk to you all day. Politics. I haven't done the research. I'm not the person to ask. But that's just what people are into. And, like, for some, I don't get why. It's not my thing. But that's their fucking, it's like their hobby. And I don't think it really affects me. It is their hobby. They'll think we're idiots for not being informed on, like, fucking local committees and shit. I'm like, brother, who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who gives a fuck? The the only time I cared was to upset I won that local committee election. Did you? What'd you do with your possession? Nothing. Nothing happens in local government in New York. Nothing. Damn, yep. you got to make some changes. Yeah, that's true. I should try. I, I mean, I, I I regularly advertise on this show that my vote is for sale, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll promote you. Yeah, yeah. I'll do ads. I don't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah, I'll do an ad for you. <laughs> just buy just buy my county committee vote. I don't give a shit. I, like, let's go. And I've said that two terms now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for re-election next year. Bet I win. <laughs> Beat a black dude who actually cared about things in my building this year. I think just because Joe just clip the beat a black dude part. God damn it! Well, yeah. this has been high society. Right? <laughs> you guys have anything you want to plug besides do rag and the deer tag? Just uh, mm-hmm. yeah, just get on the do rag. Uh, we got a Patreon, and then uh, we got some road dates coming up: Charlottesville, December 9th. Charlottesville, Virginia. Not shocking. And uh, Syracuse, New York, December sixteenth. Okay, pull up on us. All right, me, Rob, and I. That's all, all right, we got. Nice. Yes, We're sir. at. Uh, Funkin' Waffles in Syracuse. I don't know where in Charles. Is that the other name for your guys' podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so where, where, where can people get tickets? Where, what? Plug your social media so people uh, can get tickets. Yeah, it's all on Instagram. So dru underscore Montana or uh, at do rag in the deer tag and uh, at the attention horse on Instagram for me. The for attention horse. Zaggy? Follow the do rag and the deer tag. We're one of the fucking funniest fucking podcasts. They're the Thank greatest you, dudes. That's my plug. Fucking, I love these guys. Yes. Right, you know what? I'll leave it I at love that too. This has been High Society Radio. I'm your host, Chris from Brooklyn. You Thank gonna, you guys. You gonna do the thing? No, he's killing and I'm drunk. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>